After leaving the airport, a plane flies for one and a half hours at a speed of 200 miles an hour, so it flies for a total of, let's, do, let's write that in here, 300 kilometers. That's how far it is. On a course of 200 degrees. So, 200 degrees means that, let's see, where do I want to start? Let's have this be the starting point right there. So, 200 degrees means that if that's where it starts, 200 degrees is here. 200 degrees. So, let's draw in our dotted lines here. Dot, 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 dot. Always get your um, orientation together. So, if that's 200, then this is another 70 degrees. So, you could call this south 70 degrees west if you wanted to. And then it says, on the, then, then on a course of 350, so I'm going to change to red. So, at this point, so right here, I'm going to draw in a, a new line, and this distance right here is 300, whoops, 300, not 200, because we figured that out up there. Then on a course of 340 degrees, so again, I'm going to go from here, the course, so now from on a course of 340, so I'm going to, from this red oriented, the, the new orientation there, it's 340, which means it's 20 degrees right there. 20 degrees short of that horizontal line again. And for two hours at a speed of that much, so that's for 500 kilometers. So that's going to be 500 right there. And now it says, at this time, how far from the airport is the plane? So uh, let me redraw this because I'm running out of room. Didn't think ahead. So I'm going to redraw it up in the upper left over here and re-explain it even. So here's where, let's say I'm starting right here. I'm going 200 degrees. So I'm 70 degrees short right there. And that's for a total of 300. Sometimes it's good to draw relatively accurate lines because you'll see why in a second. But let's say that it, that's 300 degrees right there and I end up right here. Then I'm gonna reorient my plane. So I draw in my vertical and the horizontal axes and now it's 340 degrees. So from here, it's gonna go like that. And this is 20 degrees because 340 plus 20 is 360. It would have gotten me all the way around. And that's for 500 total. Make some room over here. That's for a total of 500 kilometers, so it's going to be longer than the other one. And again, I'm just roughly estimating it, so I could still possibly be wrong, but the more accurate you draw it, the easier it is that you don't make a mistake. And then I'm going to change my color once more. So they're asking me, let's say that I went that far. They're asking me what my at that time, how far from the airport. Oh, they don't even want the bearing. The bearing's a little harder. They just want the distance, so they just want that blue line right there. So let's, how do we find this? Well, we have um, our triangle here, and we can see that 70 degrees is that angle is 70 degrees. So this angle right here is 20 degrees. And um, notice I have these two lines are parallel to each other. So this angle is 20. So is this angle right here. That's 20 degrees. And so is that one. And we knew this was 20 because of what they gave us. So that total angle is 40. That's why I got the 40. And so I have 500, 300, uh, 300 is the distance, and 40 is the degree. So if I think about that triangle, it's like this, pulling it out. 300, 500. And now I can use the law of cosines to find 
x over here, which is the distance I want. So I do that by plugging into the equation x squared equals 500 squared plus 300 squared minus 2 times 300 times 500 times the cosine of the angle in between, which when I simplify that out, I get approximately 331.94-ish, approximately. And there's your answer. Now, if they were asking for bearings, which they aren't, but if they were, what you would have to do is reorient that right there. And then you want to find that angle right there. So the first thing you would find is this angle using the law of sines. And then you can, uh, let's see what else do we have. We have this angle right here. Those two lines are parallel. So this angle is 20. So you would, you would find that angle. Um, you would find this angle right here by subtracting this plus this from 90 and then do uh, north, whatever that angle is, west, is how you'd write it. Good luck.